Can I just take one moment out of this video to say that I fucking hate Uncharted 2? I have given this game countless chances, I've played it time and time again, I have swallowed my pride on more than one occasion to try and beat this game just so I can say I finished it and every single time I get greeted with the same bullshit death over and over and over again. Damn this game to hell, thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I actually might have some good news about the PS4 Pro. Shocking considering my last video where I just ranted and complained about how it was useless. So last night, I was watching a video by Rich or Review Tech USA. You probably already know who he is, but I'll leave a link to his video down below so you can check that out as well. In the video, he was talking about specific games getting updates for the PS4 Pro so they could, you know, support HDR and the new graphics and all that stuff. And he mentioned that Crystal Dynamics, the developers behind Rise of the Tomb Raider, were actually going to be giving PS4 Pro users three separate options when the update for the game comes out. Those options are going to be 4K at 30fps, enhanced 1080p at 30fps, and here's the good one, 1080p at 60 FPS. This is what we wanted, okay? We wanted to be able to choose if we want better graphics or better frame rate. This is perfect. Now, the only issue is not every developer has to do this. This is a developer by developer decision. Somebody might give us three options, like Crystal Dynamic is, thank you God. Other developers might not. They might say, you know what, you're going to play this game at 4K and 30 FPS and you're going to just have to suck it up. I don't think that is correct at all. Now, yes, it is easier for developers to make games with one frame rate and one resolution. It's a lot more difficult to render one game in three different resolutions and two different frame rates. However, I think gamers deserve the option to choose. They should get that. We should not be forced to play a game at, you know, substandard frame rate just because somebody wants to make the game look better. Case in point, Infamous Second Son. Again, I mentioned that in my last video as well. I would much rather play that game with a higher frame rate than the better graphics. So seeing that this is going to be an option from Crystal Dynamics, I honestly think that Sony should enforce this policy among other developers as well. Now that brings the issue that some developers might not want to even make a game for the PS4 if they're going to be forced to render the game three separate times. And there's not really a way around that. You know, you're not going to please everybody. Somebody is going to be upset if Sony says, all right, you can make the game at one resolution, one frame rate. The gamers are going to be mad because they don't get a choice. If Sony tells the developers you have to give the gamers a choice, the devs are going to be mad because it's going to take more work and more effort and it's going to be harder on them. So this is kind of a really sticky situation we got ourselves in here. We don't know what each developer is going to do or how they're going to go about it, but I really hope that common sense strikes these people at the right time and they realize hey gamers like being able to choose we're making video games for that audience maybe we should give them these options i i think that would be a wise idea for every developer to look at and not just take the easiest way out anyway that's all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching remember to share this video with all your friends your mom your dad your dog your cat your fish share it with everybody don't forget to check out my patreon and I'll catch you all later.